Hi, my name is Daniel Olini. I am a blind screen reader user. Did you know that 95% of websites are listed as inaccessible? Well, at Inclusive Web, we stride and hope to bring that number down as much as we can. And here's where a lot of the magic happens. Screen sharing meeting control. Site dashing. Just to lift transcription now, left parent closed cap. I am using the screen reader sound to not only help people understand Participants how can now see screen readers work, but it's also for the benefit of screen reader users. And so in here we have a portal that's called inclusive.digital. Once signed in, here's where all the magic happens, where we go to the report that you've been added to if a client had inclusive web. In here, we have the WCAG monitor tab and the accessibility audit tab. As you can see, I'm currently on the accessibility audit tab. This is really the first step to our testing. So here, I'm going to select the report. Visited Link Daniel Music Foundation Week 1 Deliverable. I just used the for visited links since I'm using JAWS Screen Reader, which is developed by Freedom Scientific Product. You can navigate by down arrowing to these reports if you're using other screen readers like NVDA, so forth and so on. Enter site dash inclusive web dash Google Chrome, site dash inclusive web document, site dash inclusive. I'm just going to hit control. Um, here is where for screen reader users, I suggest going to uh, the report by hitting the number one so that you're on the main section for the report. Denialsmusic.org heading level one. In here, we have a list of issues. Um, we categorize the issue by priorities such as critical, serious, moderate, and minor, and critical being the most important, I'm sorry, minor being the least important. And so uh, we usually recommend obviously addressing the critical and serious issues immediately, if not almost immediately. And um, you can even filter by critical or serious and all the other priorities and even filter by status. You can download the full report or by specific issue or by specific priority or status. Um, here, we also give you a list of URLs. I'm not really gonna go into that. This is just for demo purposes. Um, but I am gonna go into the issues themselves. So let me go to issue. I'm just gonna navigate with B for button. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, just down arrow if you're using a screen reader. The four button, left bracket, five right bracket, down left bracket, six right bracket buttons with same name do not have programmatic context to differentiate button. As you can see, let you know the issue. I'm gonna hit enter here. Enter. Site. And I'm gonna hit the number one twice to go right to the issue. Denials. Buttons with same name do not have programmatic context to differentiate heading level. All right, so we can see we're on the issue. In here, we give you this issue status in this case because we're using this for demo purposes. It's reopened. Normally, when you first test the site, obviously, when your site gets tested, the issue will first be open. And in here, uh, we give you the issue itself as well as the WCAG violation. And for those of you who don't know what the WCAG stands for, that stands for the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines. And basically what those guidelines entail are that your website is WCAG compliant by meeting the specific success criterions. So if a website doesn't meet a certain success criterion, it violates that certain WCAG guideline success criteria. And in that sense, the way the WCAG says that websites need to work is they need to be perceivable, operable, understandable, and robust. And some of you may be wondering, what does operable mean? What do you mean by operable if I'm able to already operate it by using the mouse? Well, it isn't just that. 
it's important that keyboard users or screen reader users that use a keyboard or even text-to-speech recognition people that use that software are able to navigate the website and perform the tasks at the end of the day by performing the same task that someone might be performing by dragging on a mouse or using a touchpad. So that's the concept of that. And so to the issues, we give you the issue itself, the WCAG violation. We give you the steps to reproduce the issue. Download close button. As you can see Price down here. Lecture. And we give you the expected result versus the actual current result. Uh, I said that backwards, but we then also give you the observations, non-compliant code, um, the recommendations to go about resolving the issue, as well as for those who can visually see it, we give you a screenshot, which is down here, Pre next but previous but issues the table bottom, which alerts you to where the issue is specifically. And you can also utilize the comments section. And, you know, when you believe an issue is resolved, you can change the status to needs review and the engineers, if they verify the issue is fixed, we will close the issue and comment that it was fixed. And that's basically where all the magic happens with the manual accessibility audit. Buttons with now I'm gonna move quickly to the down close button enter. WCAG audit tab. I'm sorry. Yeah. Status combo box collapsed. All. Priority group access. WCAG monitor tab. I'm sorry, it's the monitor, not the audit tab. Space um, main region. Anyway, the WCAG monitor tab is where weekly automated scans happen on your site. And we usually recommend using this either during the process of updating your website while resolving these issues or post-resolution of all these issues. And in here, we suggest that you use it just to monitor your site when you make updates because this monitor is only going to catch a third of the issues. And this actually also sometimes guides the manual testers who do the testing to better test the site. But really, this is for both inclusive and you as the client because this will catch things like visualization with no title or graphics that don't have alt text, things like that. Whereas the manual testing will pick up more specific things and be more in depth by saying that uh, missing proper ARIA attribute, you know, if a heading button expands and collapses properly and displays the proper ARIA attributes, things like that where the WCAG monitor tab is just a more simple thing that picks up certain amounts of issues. And that's basically where all the magic happens. And that's how we do it on inclusive web. And we hope to work with you guys maybe in the future, possibly. And if you have any questions, feel free to visit inclusiveweb.c as in Charlie, O as in Oscar. And uh, you can send a request to test websites and much more. That is how we do it. Thank you. Screenshot.